Ah, Toby, isn't this just the most peaceful reef in the whole wide ocean today? It is indeed, Finn, a lovely calm day. It's nice after all that excitement we had last time. Oh, you mean when Grouper came zooming in like a seaweed tornado? Exactly. All those wild tales about strange swimmers falling from above. We didn't believe him at first, did we? We thought he was just being his usual jumpy self. Well, he did seem particularly panicked about those. What did he call them? Oh yes, bubble heads. Bubble heads, they did look pretty funny with all those bubbles coming out of their heads. They did, but you know Finn, even though we tease Grouper a little, our curiosity got the better of us. It always does. Remember how we peeked from behind that big fin coral? They were so clumsy with their flippers. And dropping all sorts of shiny gadgets. We were quite cautious at first, gathering all our friends lionfish, cuttlefish, pufferfish, and wrasse. But then we were brave and swam right up to them, and guess what? They were ocean scientists, just like us reef guardians, but on land. That's right. They wanted to protect the ocean too, and those goofy high fives were quite something. It was so cool to find out they were our bubble pals. And that reef party afterwards was the best, seaweed confetti everywhere. It was a wonderful day, Finn, and today is just as lovely in its own peaceful way. Hello, Mr. Whale, are you all right? Hello, can you hear me? Wow, he looks so, still, that's not like him. Excuse me, Mr. Whale, are you feeling okay? You're usually swimming around. Hmm, he is upside down, that's a bit strange. Mr. Whale, it's Tuna. Are you just taking a nap? A very, very long nap. He's not even twitching his tail. Usually, there's always a little movement. This feels wrong, very wrong. Hello, anyone home? Mr. Whale? Hmm, that's not good. He's not moving at all. I don't like this one bit. I need to tell Finn and Toby. They'll know what to do. I hope they can help him. Finn, Toby, you have to come quick. You won't believe what I just saw. Whoa, Tuna, slow down. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a whole school of sharks. Take a deep breath, Tuna. Tell us what happened. What did you see down there? Down, down in the deeper part, near the sandy bottom, there's this, this huge creature just lying there, so big and still. Huge, what do you mean huge? Bigger than that giant clam we saw last year. Oh, much, much bigger, like, like a giant mountain lying on the sand and it's not moving at all. Not moving? Can you describe it a little more, Tuna? What does it look like? Well, it's kind of long and round, with a big tail, and it has these big flippers on the sides. Big flippers and a big tail, could it be, Mr. Hoyle? We haven't seen him around the reef today. A very large, still creature with flippers and a tail in the deep, it does sound like it could be him. That doesn't sound good at all. Yes, yes, that's him, Mr. Whale. I was so worried. We should go see right away. We need to make sure he's all right. Lead the way, Tuna. I agree, Finn. Let's go, but we must be cautious.
Mr. Whale, are you really not moving? He's, he's gone, Finn. I can feel it. Oh, Mr. Whale, he seemed so strong and permanent. He was such a kind giant. I remember the time he sang us those amazing songs. His voice echoed through the whole ocean. He always had a gentle way about him. Even his movements were graceful for someone so large. I remember once I got lost in a strong current and he nudged me gently back towards the reef. He was so helpful. He will be missed. The reef won't feel the same without his presence. No, it won't, Finn. He was a part of this ocean, a very important part. It's so quiet here now. Usually, you could hear his breathing from far away. What will happen now, Toby? Well, Finn, even though this is sad, the ocean has its own way of dealing with things. What do you mean, Toby? Look, Toby, what are those long, wiggly things coming towards Mr. Whale? Those are some of the ocean's cleanup crew, Finn. They help to take care of things when a big creature like Mr. Whale passes on. They seem very interested in him. They're all going right up to him. Are they going to hurt him, even though he's gone? No, Finn. They aren't hurting him. They are. Well, they are eating parts of him. It's nature's way. Eating him? That sounds a little strange. It might seem that way, Tuna, but it's very important for the deep sea. Nothing goes to waste down here. And what about those bigger, shadowy creatures that are arriving now? They look a bit sleepy. Those are also part of the cleanup. They will help too. Everyone plays a role. So, even though Mr. Whale isn't alive anymore, his body is still important. Exactly, Tuna. His body becomes a source of food for many different kinds of creatures in this deep part of the ocean. So, in a way, he's still helping the ocean, even now. That's right, Finn. This is the beginning of something called a whale fall. It's a whole process. Now, after the soft parts are eaten by those first arrivals, even the hard bones of Mr. Whale become a home and a food source for many other fascinating creatures. Well, look at those colorful, feathery-looking worms all over the bones. What in the ocean are they? Those are a very special kind of worm. They are sometimes called bone-eating worms. They are very unique and only live on the bones of deceased whales. Bone-eating worms? How do they do that? That sounds incredible. They have special ways of breaking down the bone to get the nutrients inside. It helps the bones decompose slowly over many, many years. So they're like tiny recyclers of the deep sea, just for whales. That's amazing. It's like the whale is giving his home, piece by piece, to everyone else. What a generous giant he was. Exactly. And look over there. See those little crab-like creatures scuttling around the skull? Oh yes, they look like they're finding shelter amongst the bones. It's like a whole new little town has sprung up here. That's a perfect way to describe it, Finn. This whale fall becomes its own little ecosystem in the deep. I never knew something like this could happen. It's sad about Mr. Whale, but this is also kind of wonderful. It really is. The ocean is full of such surprising things. Look, Toby, there are so many amazing creatures here. I've never seen some of these strange, glowing ones before. They light up the darkness. This is a special place now, Finn. The whale fall has created a whole new ecosystem in the deep sea, attracting all sorts of unique light. So, even though we were sad about Mr. Whale, he helped create this amazing place for others to live and thrive. It's like his life continues in a different way. He's providing a home and food for all these incredible animals. 
That's right, Finn. Life in the ocean is full of amazing connections, even in unexpected ways. Look, that little fish is nudging a feathery looking one. They seem to be sharing something. Exactly. They all depend on the whale fall in some way. It becomes their whole world down here. It's still so big, even just the bones. It's like an underwater sculpture covered in amazing life. It makes you think about how everything in the ocean is connected, doesn't it? Even when something ends, something new begins. It does, Finn. It shows us the resilience and wonder of nature. Mr. Whale may be gone, but his legacy lives on in all this new and fascinating life. He truly was a gentle giant, even in his passing.